Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Playbook Football Full Case, all 16 boxes, Full Case Random Division Break number one. Some really nice stuff here. Big thanks to this group. Thanks for the thanks to the people who got their spots straight up. That's just uh, Hyder, William, and Nathan. That's it. Thanks to the three of you for getting spots. Congrats again to the people who won spots in the filler, the mosaic pack, which, no, Chad, Chad, I wish this hurts my feelings. That means you don't pay attention to my words at all. Chad Da saying, I thought my last spot got me a spot. No. As I always say, 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time, which leaves 30% of the time, Chad. Not a guarantee. There are the division, but we'll get them next time, man. Appreciate you getting that filler spot. All right, there are the divisions right there. Let's roll it and randomize. Clearly not. You don't hear me every time. You forgot about that 30%. Three and a two, five times for names and divisions. One, two, three, four, and five. We got Hader Samat down to William Brewster after five. So there you are right there. Now let's randomize you a division. Three and a two, five times for the divs. One, two, three, four, and five. We got the NFC East down to the NFC North. That's all five times, perfect. So Hyder with the NFC East, CJ NFC West. Hyder, last spot mojo, AFC West, 70% of the time hits 100% of the time. William, AFC East. Nathan, NFC South. William, AFC South. Nathan, NFC North. And William, NFC North. We're gonna alphabetize this by division. And we're gonna pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around, we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back. No deals were done, so the list right here remains the same. Thanks everyone for making this happen on a Monday the 24th. Appreciate it, everybody. And here is the case of Playbook, 2022 Playbook, right? Make sure it's the right case. All right, and we're doing the whole case, all 16 boxes. Good luck, everybody. The NFL season is around the corner, believe it or not. This week, for most clubs, if not all football clubs, should be um, uh, training camps are opening for most teams, is, right? And we'll use this. Uh, blank card right here to hide the hits a little bit. Everyone excited about the NFL season? I'm gonna start thinking about fantasy football, all sorts of stuff. First one out of the gate, Kenny Pickett. Nexus Dual Relic. Let's see if I can, this camera angle still. We got a new camera not too long ago. I'm still trying to figure out it. Anyway. That will be for the AFC North. That'll be for Nathan. Nathan, I'm definitely looking forward to what Kenny Pickett can do next year. It'd be hashtag good for the hobby, as I like to say, if this guy does well. 
Next up is Jonathan Taylor. At 86 out of 99. With this new camera, though, we can get a lot closer and we'll focus up nicely. Sunday's best piece of the jersey going to the AFC South. William with that one. Should be an autograph. It is Goal Line Graphs Clinton Portis. 24 out of 49. Denver, AFC West. That will be for Hyder. And the book, it's the back of the book. It's going to be for Green Bay. It's Romeo Dobbs. Jersey and autograph. It's 165 out of 299. The slider box is ready to go. All right. One of 16. Here's the second box. All right, we got some Steve Young, down and dirty. 28 out of 149, piece of his jersey. Going to the NFC West, that will be for CJ. Traylon Burks, hot routes. 12, uh, check that, 17 out of 99. Titans, AFC South, that's for William. The auto and the book, there's Michael Pittman Jr. Nice, eight out of 99. William, AFC South. And the book, little green foil on the book. It's gonna be for the Titans, Chris Johnson. Remember him? We got his patch. We got his autograph, we got a number inscription there. Five out of 25, we got a nice low number there as well. AFC South, that's for William. Man, look his numbers up. Yeah, CJ2K, look his numbers up, man. You don't know. If you're one of the uh, younger generation, or if you don't know your football history, take a look at some highlights. YouTube that after the after this stream. All right, we got some Sunday's best. Josh Allen, 99 out of 99. AFC East. That will be for William. We got more for William. Sunday's best, 26 out of 49. A little more color in that window for William, the AFC East. That's, yeah, good point, Chad. That Titans run of running backs is pretty incredible. They've, had a, they've, they've got some good luck identifying some good running backs. Here's James Conner, 58 out of 99. That's for the Cardinals, NFC West, CJ. Fifty-eight out of ninety-nine. Some cool photography there too. I like that. And the book will be. Henry Ellard for the Rams. Old school Ram. 90 out of 199. 
Now, what was the so what was the the run? Right, Eddie George was before Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson to Derrick Henry, or was there some? There's was there like another running back in between there? But either way, I mean, even if those three in the last twenty some odd years, you know, they like that's it's pretty nice. Desmond Ritter, Nexus Dual Relic, 38 out of 49. Get mixed up with the years on those players, but yeah, they have, have had a pretty good run. Let's hope Desmond Ritter has a good run this year. That will be for the NFC South, Nathan. Then we've got Alec Pierce, AFC South. Hot routes, 55 out of 75. That's going to go to William and the AFC South. Anyone got any pre-preseason bold predictions? One of my favorite, we've, you've heard me play this game before if you're a longtime viewer. Because of the parity that's in the NFL, there's always a team that finished like... 400 with a, well, I guess with the record or the season that finished with like a 41% winning percentage or less and then come back and becomes a playoff team. There's Allen Robinson goal line graphs. That's a nice shot right there. 46 out of 99. Rams, NFC West, CJ Monroe. Chris Brown and Lindell White was in between Eddie and CJ. They were still pretty serviceable, too. We've got Derwin James for the Chargers. Oh, nice patch for the Bolts. There's the autograph. 32 out of 99. That's going to go to the... AFC West, my rivals, the Chargers. Hi, Derek, with that one. Yeah, that's not that's not bad too. A little little a uh, little, yeah. Husky uh, Bishop Sankey was in between CJ and Henry, and think Lindell White was maybe a USC guy, perhaps. All right, so. Your source, your seven win and below teams last year are. Let me just read that off really quick if you want to play this game. Jets, Cleveland Browns, Colts, Texans, Raiders, Broncos, Bears, almost the entire NFC South, Panthers, Saints, Falcons, Rams, Cardinals. I don't remember Chris, I remember Lindell White, but not Chris Brown. He is a singer, different Chris Brown. But which of those teams turn into playoff teams? Maybe the Steelers? No, they were nine, they had nine wins last year. 42 out of 75. That was a good season with them last year. I'd like to see Kenny Pig in the playoffs, though. AFC North, Nathan. We got a triple relic team trios, two out of 25. There's Malik Willis, there's Derrick Henry, and there is Traylon Burks. Nice trio to 25. AFC South, William.
Bengals beat the Chiefs in the AFC Championship and beat the surprise Seahawks in the Super Bowl. Chad, who do you root for in that Super Bowl? And here's Danny Gray. That's his bold prediction. There's Danny Gray for the uh, NFC West, CJ. I think a lot of people are probably thinking the Jets are going to be a sub-500, almost 400 win percentage team to go to the playoffs. Bengals, got it. Browns, maybe playoffs? Sometimes like a three or four win team ends up in the playoffs. Colts, Texans, maybe? Maybe not. Although maybe that AFC South could get got. No, Trevor Lawrence is with the Jaguars. Maybe not. I don't know about my Raiders. I don't even know about Denver, really. Bears? No, I don't think they've done enough in the offseason. They're a three-win team. Panthers, Saints, Falcons. There, there could be some playoff teams there. Maybe the Saints with Derek Carr. All right, we got rookie signature locker, Danny Gray, 14 out of 25. Got the autograph, you got the locker, you got a piece of the pigskin. Maybe a piece of the helmet up there too, that's pretty cool. That's gonna be for the NFC West Niners, CJ. Rams in the playoffs maybe? Five and 12, four and 13 Cardinals, not without Kyler. No, I don't know, Brock Purdy right there, actually. Now, Chad Daw has delivered a pretty bold prediction for us. Anyone with a bold pre-training camp prediction? There's Leonard Fournette, yearbook, 31 out of or check that, 81 out of 99. NFC South, Nathan. I, I have no idea. How do they get the helmet piece out of there? Some, maybe a bone saw. Here's Jaws, 48 out of 99. Shotgun signatures. That's going to be for the Fly Eagles. Fly. NFC East. Hi there. For the NFC East. Fly Eagles. Fly. 48 out of 99. There he is. Then we got Sam Howell. Nice autograph here. 9 out of 15. As of now, he's still your QB1. So he steadily has been over the last six months or so, maybe even longer, started to see more and more, you know, hobby hype. NFC East, hi there. And we got Storybook, Desmond Ritter. All right, well, that's, I don't think I've seen any of these. A little, little story happening here. Once upon a time, there was a quarterback. There's a three-color patch. 23 out of 25. NFC South. That's for Nathan. That's right. In World War II, you're right, Jan. The Eagles and the Steelers uh, had to combine as one team. They didn't have enough players. Steagles? I think was the uh, was what they were maybe known as. I know, yeah. I was, I, I kind of was thinking that there was going to be an auto there too, but maybe, maybe next year. It does look cool though. I like the cool, cool card, the cool book. Maybe next year some ink. There's Derrick Henry, yearbook. Eight out of 25. 
AFC South. That'll be for William. Got a triple relic team trios, all Rams. Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, Aaron Donald, 43 out of 49. People, people from the Rams organization saying don't call it a rebuild. But it feels like a rebuild. There's Dat and Wynn. Old Cowboy. Cowboy linebacker, 34 out of 99. Had a few a uh, few Asian players making it to the to the NFL. Uh, NFC East, Hyder with the NFC East, and the book is Reach for the Sky. Sky Moore. 154 out of 299. There's a snake in my boot. All right, folks, we're almost halfway through this break. No other orders coming in, so maybe this might be the last break. And we'll, um, we'll, we'll Let's go take a leisurely stroll through the rest of this playbook case, though. But if you want to keep going, start placing your orders now. So I'm, that, that signals to me that people are still interested in more breaks. Yeah, we, we still have a long way to go before we're done with this break. We're, we're not even after this break. After this box, we'll be halfway through for now. Still got a ways to go. Play to the whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Dual Relic, double move, 21 out of 25. Justin Herbert. Herbie going to the AFC West. I dare. I dare with that one. Alec Pierce for the AFC South, five out of 49. Dual Relic for William. The autograph is Rex Burkhead. Hash marks. Hashtags. 76 out of 90. Hash browns? No. Hash marks. Texans. AFC South. William. And Zibuk. Is... That win for the Cowboys, another one. Eight out of 10, nice low number on this one as well. NFC East, it'll be for Hyder. This is the start of the second half. Fingers crossed, everybody. All right. Ooh, nice mammoth material. Rashad White. Some nice color there. 83 out of 99. That will be for the Buccaneers, NFC South, Nathan. Since <laughs> William, it's been, it has been a long time. I think this is year nine. I think by the end of the year, should be year nine. I think I started in the fall. This In the fall, it might be year nine. Going on 10, or is it going on 10? I don't know, when did I start this? Nine out of 75 for the Rams, Cooper Cup, NFC West, CJ. And there's a likely story, Isaiah Likely, 34 out of 49. Oh, man. Oh. Huh, was he? What, uh, what position did, did Arthur Matsu play? 
Isaiah likely going to the AFC North. That'll be for Nathan. And the book. Three out of ten. Christian Watson. Two color patch and autograph. Three out of ten. I haven't rigged ever since you became a CPA. Uh, NFC North. That'll be for William. The Packers. I think, well, I think it's nine years then, right? This fall would be nine years because I think I started in 2014. I think I started in 2014 um, because I, in the summer of 2014? Maybe summer, maybe it's nine years. That's nine years, right? 2024 would be 10 years. 2014, I think it's because I remember ripping open a lot of uh, 2014 football product when Topps had football, still had football back then. And um, there's Cortland Sutton, 57 out of 99, down and dirty, two color patch. Because I remember us doing 2014 chasing Odell Beckham Jr. That was like the hot, hot hit. Odell Beckham Jr. rookie cards were, were hobby hot back then. AFC West, I dare it with that. And 151 out of 199, Damian Pierce, Mammoth Material. Doesn't he have uh, money in the bank, ladies and gentlemen? Or is that Damon, Damon Priest? Pierce? 151 out of 199. And there is 35 out of 49, Arnold Abikatie. 35 out of 49. Do I own the place yet? Let's, let's say as, as higher number one for the Jaspi organization. I am, I am fairly compensated for my services. And then we got Trayvon Walker for the Jaguars. Two color patch and autograph. 48 out of 99. Oh, so Matsu was a quarterback. Interesting. Um, I know the family longer than I've known them as colleagues. So this, this is run very much like a, like a family business here, ladies and gentlemen. So that's why it's, uh, happy being here. Thanks, William. Appreciate you. 74 out of 75 for the Cleveland Browns, David Bell. Cleveland, this is for you. Nathan, AFC North. I know we need an out of five and under to get the world famous train whistle. Got to get a big hit there. How about Devontae Parker, 26 out of 199. Hot routes for the Patriots, AFC East, William. I'll be randomized to one person in the break. Winner takes all if we happen to see more points. And there's Sauce Gardner, 222 out of 299. Jersey and autograph. 299. That'll be for the AFC East, William and the Jets. Chad puts Nick number one, Jason number two. I'm in the top 50 though. That's just wrong. This is not correct. Chad's like those dudes on like ESPN or like NFL Network who doesn't put LaDainian Thomas in like their top whatever. 
is like this is like uh, Mark Jackson who forgot to vote for like Joel Embiid or something like that. That's what Chad is. He'd fit right in with those talking heads. The uh, you know, not everyone's a good breaker evaluator. Clearly, clearly, we know Chad is not. Thirteen out of forty-nine. Didn't Chad? Didn't I pull you uh, a really nice hit? This is all I. This is the thanks I get. Should we remind everybody, after all of Chad Dawes' incessant complaining, should we remind everybody that he's sitting on a uh, a Joe Burrow Stars and Stripes RPA from NT first off the line, graded a nine a nine ten a nine five ten maybe? This is the thanks I get from Chad, ladies and gentlemen. AFC East. William with that one. 27 out of 49, hash browns, TJ Husmanzada. Again, Chad not paying attention to the details of the show. Next thing you know, he's gonna ask me, when's it gonna break? AFC North, Nathan. Train whistles have always been reserved for cards that are out of five and under. We're celebrating the rarity of the hit. There's Matt Corral, Panthers, NFC South. That'll be for Nathan. 187 out of 199. Of course. Out of fives and under get the train whistle. You know, not, not some nice hits. Number to, you know, whatever, train whistle, no. Doesn't work that way. That's how we've been doing it for nine years, Chad. You want me to buck tradition? Next thing you know, Chad will be telling, again, it's not about the value of the card, but it's about the rarity of the card is what we're celebrating with the train whistle. Uh, Chad might be su suggesting we, we not play take me out of the ball game anymore in the seventh inning. Thirteen out of twenty-five. Tyquan Thornton, AFC East. William. One fourteen out of one ninety-nine. Brees Hall. Well, he doesn't have me beat in that respect. Brees Hall, mammoth material. AFC East, William. Did I mess up the It doesn't matter. Guess what? The shipping team doesn't listen to the video, Jan. <laughs> when they're sorting, they look at the team, they look at the list, it goes to the right place. I could say this entire break goes to the, you know, NFC West, and it wouldn't matter what I say. But as long as the paperwork is correct. Logan Hall, 34 out of 49. That will be for the uh, NFC South, Nathan. And the book will be Garrett Wilson, four out of 99. Nice. So William, with the AFC East, you got the defensive rookie of the year in Sauce Gardner, and now you've got the offensive rookie of the year in Garrett Wilson. Four out of 99. When's the last time one team had both Offensive and defensive rookies of the year. I'm asking not because I know. I'm asking because I don't know. I feel like this is something that Jan can Google really quick and let us know.
Defensive player of the year should have gone to Woolen. Who? I know who Sauce Gardner is. I don't know who a Woolen is. 64 out of 99, Baker Mayfield. Is this one of your 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 your, uh, your Washington State players, Chad? That you always think should get more credit. Chad loves Washington State. Baker Mayfield Panthers edition going to the um, NFC South. Nathan. Chad Dog Cougars for life. They call him Chad Cougar Da. That's how much he loves Washington State. Is that right, Chad? Chad Cougar Da flying that gray and maroon in front of the house. There's Brian Robinson, 85 out of 99. NFC uh, East, Hyder with that one. One out of 25, Jerome Ford. That's going to go to the Bears. Cleveland, this is for you. Nathan with the AFC North. Everyone, next time you see Chad Dom, just call him Cougar Chad. That's what he goes by. Cougar Chad is what his friends call him back home. Hassan Haskins, 27 out of 99. You got any Washington State cards? Hit up Chad. He'll buy them off you. Buy any, any football players? Played Washington State. Pay top dollar. That's what Cougar Chad does. Uh, William, no. I don't think this has a traditional, like, case hit, a one per case thing. Oh, was your high school mascot, Cougars? Also for Washington State. His favorite collegiate team. Huh. Jan's high school alma mater also the Cougars had maroon and gray as well. How, I wonder how common that is. Yeah, most products actually don't have like a traditional case hit type thing. Not like, like a color blast or something like that or a downtown or kabooms. That kind of train uh, case hit that is not train little. Redemption on the back. There's Zach Wilson, Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson to 99. That will be for William the AFC East. That will be for William. We got Amon Ra St. Brown for the NFC North. That's going to be for William and the Lions. I need some more top loaders. Isaiah Likely, four out of 49. That's gonna be for the AFC North. That's for Nathan and the Purple Birds. My, my light, lighting system here is perfectly, covers up the score of the game perfectly. Uh, it's still 3-3, but the Blue Jays have bases loaded. Oh, because Phil Bickford is pitching. All right, let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. We got Rookie Signature Locker Prime. What's that number two? 10, 25, something like that? Ooh. T, R, A, V, O, N, Trayvon Walker for the Jaguars. AFC South, William. Nice, William. Mm. 
Alton Varsho hitting two and two. What's happened in the outfield out there, guys? What's going on? All right, last box. Jan saying prime 25 or less. Final box. Good luck, everybody. All right, we got Tyler Boyd, down and dirty, 38 out of 149. AFC North, Nathan with the Bengals. The autograph is C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb, that's gonna be NFC East. I dare, with the boys. Uh, not numbered, I don't think. Uh, nice, thanks. Chad looked it up. Trayvon's to 10. Thank you, Chad. All right. Final book, and then we'll do the randomizer for those 400 points. Final book is for the Titans. Hassan Haskins. AFC South. This one's to 299. That's for the AFC South. That's for... William. There you go, William. There you go, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for making this happen. All right. 400 points. Winner take all on the points. Only one. So let's flip back over here. Let's gather everybody's names. One through eight. New dice, new list. Name on top after three and a five, eight times. Uh, we'll get the 400 points, a little consolation prize. That does replace, probably replaces a relic or an auto or something like that, but all right, three to five, eight times. Name on top after eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight, Nathan, 400 points going your way. Thanks everybody for watching and for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazzpeacecasebreaks.com and I'll see you next time for the next football break. And join us for football breaks all football season long, right around the corner. Bye-bye.